when I was 17 years old, I came across a website that was an eye-opener for me, and it encouraged me to learn a lot more about exactly what I was of eating. What had happened was one day, I was going to college part-time, one day I overheard a conversation, and these two guys had insisted that um, they thought there were uh, ingredients that were secretly added to food that made you addicted to food. And it seemed to make sense to me. I mean, um, I had quit drinking soda about a year earlier, and at the beginning I, I thought I was addicted to soda. I eventually uh, uh, really liked my life without soda, but it made sense to me. So that, that, that night when I got home, I started to Google what are some food ingredients that are, that are addictive. And I came ac across a website that detailed about how a lot of MSG was added to food. And it was added in all sorts of weird names and how you had to pay attention to uh, other names for MSG. There were about 20 or 30 different names. And um, I started to avoid them because I, I'm one of those people, once I hear something is bad, it never feels good to put it in my mouth again. Um, even to this day, I still have that kind of habit. Uh, I'll, I'll hear about various pollutants or um, various uh, even healthy foods that are contaminated with mercury or other materials. And um, once I hear about it, it doesn't feel so good to eat it anymore. It almost gives it an aftertaste of some sort. So I started avoiding it and I started feeling a whole lot better. You gotta understand, I, 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 I have all sorts of ailments as well. Um, and I started to feel a whole lot better. And I never wanted to eat anything again without reading the labels. At around the same time, um, I stopped going out to dinner with my uh, family. I would eat every, I would cook everything at home. It drove my parents crazy a little bit at first, but then they realized I got all these other benefits. Um, and I started to uh, find out how to ask questions when I do go out to eat. When COVID-19 first hit, uh, one of the optimisms I had was that people would be more mindful about their health and they might start to question things that they eat or drink or, or do or or not do, right? Uh, people would question whether or not it would be a good idea to sit in front of a computer screen for 10 hours a day. Uh, unfortunately, COVID-19 has forced people to do that, but at least I wanted people to question it, right? Um, unfortunately, uh, when I look around myself, people are really good at estimating how far six feet is, right, or how long 20 seconds is, right, but a lot of people still don't realize um, that uh, MSG could be uh, disguised as hydrolyzed soy protein, autolyzed yeast, uh, the, the, the way I know this is I go to somebody's, uh, or I can't go to somebody's home right now, right, but we're, we're talking about it, People will want to prepare meals for me, and they'll ask me, is this ingredient okay? And sometimes they give a very general ingredient, right? Is a so-and-so uh, kind of sauce okay? And I'm like, well, what's in it, right? And they have no idea, right? Or I'll go to a restaurant, and I'll have the same kind of problems, or I'll go to, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll sit next to somebody on, a, on an airplane, right? Uh, and I'll ask, or not an airplane right now, but I'll go to, uh, I work at a tutoring center. And now we're starting to relax social distancing. And I'll have a client who's eating something really dusty and I'll ask him to please uh, avoid dusting off his hands everywhere after he's done, right? And um, my client will have no idea why or what's in his food. Oh, this is just so-and-so, right? Uh, I, unfortunately, uh, See, when I hear on the news that we need to practice social distancing, I mean, that's good, but I think we should also practice immune system distancing, right? Keeping our immune system strong, right? I remember back in April, um, I think, or maybe near Memorial Day, people were talking about how you were inconsiderate for going out on Memorial Day, right? Meanwhile, they could sit at home and drink soda and, and, and consume all this crap and d destroy their immune system, make themselves a vector for all sorts of disease so that when the uh, when the delivery guy comes they could spread whatever disease they have to the delivery guy right when they go to the grocery store uh, they're, they're poisoning their immune system right and contaminating everything they touch in the grocery store and um, that seems to be perfectly okay right uh, 
apparently because just because you can't see it, right? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I, I thought people would wake up to this. Uh, if if we do have a, I hope we don't. But if we do have a second wave of COVID nineteen, I hope that the discussion of immune system distancing will be become a little bit more prominent feature. But I hope that at the first wave as well. So I don't know if, if, if I should be hopeful anymore. But uh, anyway, practice some good immune system distancing over uh, not just the next couple of months, but for the rest of your life, because there's going to be other things that come and go. And as somebody who has practiced it for 17 years now, I can tell you I enjoy the taste of my the the taste and the feeling of my food a lot more today than I did 17 years ago. Right? I made some videos actually recently about how um, I'm enjoying all these little uh, 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 ventures into healthy eating. Right? I talked about how I've been fasting, intermittent fasting, a lot lately. Right? Today I'm up to right now I'm up to hour 10 of fasting. I feel so good. The thought of eating later today or maybe tomorrow morning really, really uh, uh, is, is kind of disgusting to me, right? Uh, 17 years from now, you'll probably be saying that when I quit drinking soda 17 years ago, I felt so much better. Take it from me. Thanks for watching.